numerous systems are working in harmony to make this human body an intricate marvel, a true masterpiece of nature. We are able to see, feel, hear and move, all because of these remarkable systems present within a living body. Behind all these actions is a master mind that is the command station, very crucial for our existence, only three pounds but can do wonders. The human brain is a complex organ that controls all bodily functions, but sometimes its function may be disturbed due to an underlying cause or illness, damage to tissues, or maybe overgrowth of cells. Let's begin to explore the depths of lethal foe, brain tumor. In our last video, we went through the basic structure and function of the brain. Today we will delve into the intricate mechanism of brain tumors. How do they develop and spread? What are their effects on the human body? And how they are treatment? What is a brain tumor? Each organ comprises cells. When these cells grow abnormally, they form a solid mass of tissues called tumor. Likewise, when brain cells grow abundantly and group together into a mass, it forms a brain tumor. Brain tumors may be cancerous or non-cancerous. Only one-third of tumors are non-cancerous and are termed as benign tumors. Benign tumors are infrequently life-threatening. They are confined and do not harm neighboring tissues or spread to other body areas. Many benign tumors do not require treatment. However, they may push on other bodily components and necessitate medical treatment. Cancerous tumors are another type of brain tumors that can invade the neighboring tissues, glands, and other organs through the blood or lymphatic system, through the process of metastasis. Cancerous tumors are also referred to as malignant tumors. They can be potentially fatal as they recur following treatment. Let's explore origin and causes of brain tumors. Most brain tumors originate from the cerebrum part of brain, while they may also originate from other brain parts like meninges, spinal cord, and pituitary glands. Causes of brain tumor. Any mutation in the DNA of brain cells can lead to brain tumor formation. The DNA present in cells directs their division, development, and performance of all the life-sustaining functions. When DNA changes due to mutation, it gives altered instructions to cells, which causes them to grow abnormally. This abnormally expanding population of cells, also called tumor, resides in the brain. Brain tumors may also occur due to exposure to X-rays or specific chemicals, and weak immunity. Similarly, older people are more likely to be affected by brain carcinoma. Only 5-10% to of brain tumor patients have a family history of illness means they may get brain tumors from their parents. Symptoms of brain tumor Symptoms depend upon the site of the brain tumor. For instance, a tumor nearby the optic nerve may affect our vision and cause blindness. Whereas if a brain tumor develops in the frontal lobe of the brain, it affects our ability to think or concentrate. Similarly, early stage tumors are less severe, but they may aggravate with time and become fatal in later stages. Common symptoms of brain tumor include severe headaches, especially in the morning time, nausea or vomiting, seizures or fits, memory problems, vision or speech problems, loss of balance, change in personality, facial numbness or tingling, and confusion and dizziness. Diagnosis of brain tumors? Doctors physically examine patients and ask about brain tumor symptoms, medications, previous surgery, or family history. Besides, doctor may also recommend neurological examination to observe changes in brain functions such as body balance, mental status, hearing and vision defects, etc. MRI or CT scans are another type of diagnosing brain tumors. MRI or magnetic resonance imaging is the most effective imaging technique for diagnosing brain malignancies. Computed tomography is also an excellent substitute if you cannot undergo an MRI. In these scans, a contrasting agent or chemical is injected into your vein to make tumors more visible for better examination. These scans can reveal the precise size and location of the tumor. Your doctor may also examine your lungs, colon, or breasts to determine whether the tumor has spread. Biopsy To determine the type of tumor, for example, is a tumor malignant or benign? Healthcare providers must typically perform a tumor biopsy. In biopsy, tumor samples are collected for microscopic inspection. A stereotactic biopsy is performed if tumor cannot be accessed, which involves making a tiny bore through a needle in the head and extract a tissue sample from the tumor. Spinal tap or lumbar puncture. In this test, a tiny needle is used to retrieve cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, 
from around your spine, this fluid is examined in a laboratory for cancer cells. Doctors perform spinal tap or lumbar puncture when they fear that a brain tumor has infiltrated the meninges, tissues that cover the brain. Treatment of brain tumors. Typically, benign tumors do not spread and hence are harmless, so, they can be easily excised completely through surgical treatment. Conversely, malignant or cancerous tumors grow rapidly and spread from one brain part to another. Therefore, they cannot be treated easily as they may regrow even after surgery. Such tumors can be treated through the following procedures. Craniotomy. It is a type of surgical treatment which involves making incision in the brain to surgically remove tumors. Neurosurgeons perform craniotomy while keeping patients awake to ensure brain is protected from damage during surgery. Radiation therapy. Brain tumors can be treated with high doses of X-rays, which are directed to the brain to destruct tumor cells or shrink their sizes. Chemotherapy. This treatment involves prescribing anti-cancerous medications to eliminate brain and systemic cancer cells. Patients may receive chemotherapy as an intravenous injection or as a tablet. Chemotherapy may be suggested after surgery to eliminate any leftover cancer cells or inhibit their growth. Immunotherapy. Immunotherapy or biological therapy employs the immune system to combat the disease. The therapy consists mostly of activating your immune system to improve its performance against tumor cells. Other treatments available to mitigate the severity of symptoms include shunts. If the tumor increases intracranial pressure, a thin tube called a shunt may be surgically implanted in the brain to remove the extra cerebrospinal fluid. Drugs such as mannitol and corticosteroids. These drugs can help lower intracranial pressure. They minimize inflammation surrounding the tumor. Palliative care. It is useful in symptom alleviation, comfort, and life-threatening conditions. It also assists in treating caregivers or those affected by their loved one's illness. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. And as always, stay curious and keep exploring.